Hey, this is Lax, and today I'm going to be teaching you two tutorials that were requested. The first one's going to be about how to get Gears of War font. Alright, so I provided this link um, in the description on your right. It's to a font website, and they have hundreds of fonts. And you can see here, there are tons of different categories, And but let's just get right to Gears of War. So under the fancy category they have destroy click on destroy and scroll down and destroy has some pretty cool fonts so you might want to check the rest of them out but uh... keep scrolling through the pages until you reach a font called diffused this is the gears of war font diffused all right, so to download these, you have to have WinZip or I think WinRAR works too. So I'll provide the link to those downloads too in the description. But what you want to do is you want to save it to the disk. I'm not going to do it with this one because I already have it. But so I'll do it with Every Day Goes because I don't have that font yet. So what you want to do is save it to the disk, press OK. Then you want to open it. Now it opens up in WinZip. Now you want to extract it. Alright, and you want to go to my computer. Go to local disk. Then they have Windows. scroll down and there's fonts right here so highlight fonts and press extract now it extracted to the fonts folder and now you can use it in whatever you want okay now that we got the Gears of War font um, here's the second requested tutorial of the day how to get LimeWire Pro for free. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to the LimeWire website and download the free version if you already haven't. So, get basic. Go and get basic. I'll just provide the direct download link in the description. And then it'll say you will not, just click you will not use LimeWire for copyright infringement. Okay, um, now choose Windows if you have Windows or Linux or whatever you're running. Alright, now just um, save the file to your disk. Wait for it to download. Now open it. Okay, now you have to choose your language, which I speak English, of course. And just keep going through the installation process. Alright, now that it's done downloading and installing, um, check off Run LimeWire and click Finish. Alright, now it's opening the program. Alright, now that the program's open, it's going to say, do you want to upgrade to LimeWire Pro? Just click later, and then close this did you know box or whatever. Alright, now what you want to do is hit the programs box. Type in the name box. Type in LimeWire 
space lime space wire pro and click search or enter also if you don't find it the first time just keep searching because sometimes it doesn't find it the first time so you might want to type it in a couple times so I would just make uh, multiple searches of this name or whatever you want to call it I'll just do three Okay, um, that's pretty quick actually. So, this is the file that we need. It's called LimeWire, LimeWire Pro. And, um, it's a zip file, so you'll need WinZip. And, I'm not sure still, but WinRAR might work. So, um, what you want to do is highlight it, click download. then click yes but I'm not going to do it because I already have it so I'll just click cancel just exit out of these alright so when you open the file after you've downloaded it. It should open up in WinZip and um, you have it right here. Then you want to extract it. You can extract it to your desktop if you want by just dragging it out onto the de desktop. Desktop, sorry. It's really early. Um, and you have it right here. Here's the installer. Choose your language, just like the free version. It's, it's the same installation, just like the free version. So, Okay, now you guys have LimeWire Pro and Gears of War font. So, I hope you guys enjoy these two tutorials. And if anyone else wants a requested tutorial, just message me on YouTube. Alright, see you.